Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 13th. Got some rain on the way to kick off the weekend. Models printing a little faster. Christmas, could it be really cold? And uh, well, a lot, a lot of things to talk about here. Let's go in there and take a look. We'll start with the water vapor satellite view around the nation around daybreak this morning. You can clearly see that uh, disturbance off to the west. Short wave around the four corners. That will be advancing eastward, spreading rain across the deep south and snow for our friends up north. Starting off the day in the 20s, as cold as 21 at Decatur. Looks like the wind picked up around the Birmingham metro. We've got 30s in through Jefferson and Shelby counties, but everybody else in the 20s, even Montgomery at 27. But we'll warm up into the 50s today. Most of the guidance has us in the mid-50s. Around the nation, it's cold, but not quite as cold this morning. But as the weekend progresses, more of that cold air sitting over Canada will drop south, and we'll feel that on Sunday. Sunday should be a pretty cold and blustery day here. Now, if you're looking for snow, we've got it uh, on the northern flank of the storm. Winter weather advisories in effect for much of Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan. And then winter storm watch is in effect for a bunch of New England as uh, they're going to see some good snow up there. But down here, we'll see good rain. Rain amounts of about one half to one inch are likely tonight and tomorrow morning. In terms of snow, this is the chance of accumulating snow from uh, this morning through tomorrow morning. And then this is the chance of accumulating snow from 6 o'clock Central Time tomorrow until 6 o'clock Central Time Sunday. And the big numbers move over into New England as they can see a pretty decent snow with that surface low kind of scooting up by Cape Cod. Let's take a look at this thing. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at noon today. This is at 500 millibars. Shortwave troughing to the west. Down below that, the day will be dry, but rain breaks out. This afternoon to the west around Tulsa, uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, Paris, Texas, up to near Kansas City. And then tomorrow at midday, that's going to be all snow over uh, Ohio and Pennsylvania and West Virginia. And down here, uh, rain across the southeast United States. But let's talk timing. This is the high-res NAM, valid at uh, 10 o'clock tonight. It's clearly a little faster. Uh, it's got rain creeping into the state uh, 9 to 10 o'clock tonight. Still the big rain back over in Mississippi. This is 4 o'clock in the morning. It'll just be pouring rain. Uh, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden. You're going to sleep through some of the best rain with this thing. And then at noon, it's out of here tomorrow. I mean, the models are trending faster. I'm beginning to think the main window for rain now will be uh, from 10 o'clock tonight until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So you've got something planned outdoors tomorrow afternoon. The rain will be gone unless you're down in maybe Auburn or Opelika or uh, Eufaula down there in that east or southeast part of the state. So uh, the rain ends late tomorrow morning. The clouds linger all day, but at least the rain will be gone tomorrow afternoon. This is tomorrow night uh, at, let's see, central time, uh, midnight, 1 a.m. Eastern, and that's when some really good snow could be cranking up for uh, Boston and uh, maybe parts of the boroughs of New York City up into upstate New York. And that could be pretty messy in case you're traveling up there this weekend. This is midday Sunday. That deep surface low is just uh, off the coast of Maine. And again, that could be a wild snowstorm, a lot of wind and snow, maybe almost blizzard conditions up in parts of Maine. But Sunday around here, you can see a tight pressure gradient. The day will be colder. Uh... Sky clearing during the day. That clearing could be slow. Uh, well, it looks like we'll be only in the middle 40s with a good north wind of uh, 10 to 20. And we'll forecast gradual clearing, but kind of a raw, cold, and blustery day. Monday, we'll start the morning well down in the 20s, but the sky will be bright and sunny. We'll rise up into the 50s. Tuesday, and all next week looks nice and quiet. Uh, highs in the 50s. This is Wednesday. The uh, GFS drives us into the upper 50s, and this is Thursday. And uh, by golly, we might even see 60 on Thursday if 
this is correct. And there's been good consistency, good consistency in this, so it looks like most of next week will be nice, dry, quiet, comfortable temperatures about where they should be for this time of the year. But this is a week from today, and you can see the beginnings of a new trough in the western states. That's going to pull down more cold air as we get ready for Christmas. And down below that, uh, moisture starts to increase. And it sure looks like we are going to deal with rain that next weekend. Again, the consistency has been very good in this idea. Uh, this is Saturday the 21st. That looks very wet. And a new surge of very cold air dives south down into Texas and Arkansas. And uh, this is the 23rd, the Monday before Christmas, Christmas Eve Eve. Troughing rolling by, and that's going to deliver some pretty cold air. The 540 line almost down to Montgomery. And you can see temperature anomalies are uh, 15 to 25 below average here. And uh, they'll be very cold. We talked about this Christmas cold snap. Well, there it is. And ooh, this is Christmas Day. <laughs> All of a sudden, the GFS uh, brings a little wave in here with cold air in place. Could it be? Could it be? Well, this is pure voodoo. We know that. I guess it could. But uh, this is suggesting that up there near the Tennessee border, there might be a touch of snow Christmas Day. But there is no skill. Repeat, there is no skill in a specific forecast beyond seven days. This is just voodoo out here. But the trend, the screaming message is that it looks like it's going to be very cold at Christmas time. And then the end of the forecast on the 28th, still, uh, that would be uh, cold and dry. But how cold, what happens in there, we just don't know that yet. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.